Absolutely excited to show some demos at that time too, which uh, I know we're running a little late, but let me end with a demo of the leaderboard because we did talk about that. So I want people to be able to experience that we, uh, we're not just all talk. So let me just one second and this should be coming up here. So this functionality is already built out. So you can see that this uh, is the leaderboard module. Let me just make sure that this server starts up here in a second. Um, I'm okay in case any uh, of uh, our tech folks are online because I know they always say suggestions. So this is okay to share. It's all going to be open source. That's why I'm okay bringing up our code base on here. Um, so the leaderboard, what it's going to do, this is the sickest part about it, is not only is it going to show you, so this is currently looking at a specific token on the BSC network. It's going to show you which holders are um, sort of the top holders in that specific network. So it's reloading now because I just relaunched the server. It's also going to show you, so let's say we can filter out the top addresses in that network because the top addresses typically are team wallets or treasury or what have you. We don't really want them taking up space on the top few addresses, right? So we can filter them out and then we can show all of the holders that are um, sort of uh, basically holding uh, that specific token. But what's more exciting is we can give them a call to action. So for example, look at this guy on item number nine. So he's currently ninth uh, in the position and it shows that he needs this many tokens in order to proceed up to the next level. So we can map it, you click this level up, now it shows you how many tokens you need to kind of beat the guy above you. You click that and it takes you specifically to that specific uh, um, DEX that you're going to, in this case, I've mapped to the Uniswap, puts in the token contract address of that specific DEX as well. And you can purchase those tokens right there. And we can do this for Uniswap, ApeSwap, we can do it for whatever DEX that you're mapped to and it'll take you directly over there. So that's one side of the general leaderboard. The other side is we can have as many competitions as we want going. So for example, imagine each pre-sale having an element of competitions in there or each initiative that we launch having an element of competition in there. We can have a competition module where we can track over a period of time, a few things. One, how many tokens did these wallet holders grow by between snapshot one and snapshot two? So let's say this wallet six, you can see over here that between the start and end block, this wallet holder grew by 8,200. What does that mean? It's marked in yellow. So we have a little guide that we'll be showing. This is a new holder that came into play. So we identify as a new holder. They didn't have any tokens below and they grew by 82,000 tokens. Means they actually came into the community new and bought this many tokens. The green over here means that they added tokens. So you can see that this person added so many tokens in the last period. And then the red also means that people that reduced the tokens in that amount. So we can incentivize new holders, we can incentivize growth, we can also have some consequences for reducing the number of tokens in, in a given period. And also build in a call to action. So for example, if this person added like a thousand tokens and they're above you, it gives you how many tokens you need to add to beat them. So it's a perpetual competition that can always be there. So lots of utility, and this is what we'll be discussing from a marketing and operations standpoint this week and the upcoming week to share a lot of exciting utility with our community um, and hopefully just gamify the concept of being part of pre-sales or staking or just the whole ecosystem and have a lot of fun while doing it.